it's crazy that I'm even alive right now. that to anybody before they were set in stone like I knew how I was gonna do it I had the letters already drafted out ready to send I kept looking for the right time to do it and there's never a right time to commit suicide because you're just going to leave so much pain and anguish behind and nobody will ever be prepared for it so once I realized that I was like okay I can't do that I don't want to do that I wish people knew that the things that I've struggled with, a lot of other people struggle with too. Your coworkers, your classmates, your family members, your church members, like it's more common than you think. And I wish that it was talked about more and it is starting to be talked about more, but not enough. I think the biggest thing that needs to change about how we talk about mental health would be the people that are on the listening end they need to do a better job at listening to understand instead of listening to just respond. Because a lot of times I would talk to different people and it was like they were only listening to give me a response or how I should think or how I should feel. And really people with mental illness specifically just want someone that understands. I think the hardest part was to find some kind of will to keep going, even though all of my thoughts were telling me to just give up. And for a while I did give up. I didn't really care about what happened to me. I put myself in a lot of risky situations. So I think the hardest part was continuing to wake up every single day, even though my brain was literally telling me I would be better off dead. I never really invited Jesus to change my life. He was just kind of like this person that I knew about and this person that was there. I had seen all my life be real to other people, but never for me. And the moment that I not only allowed him to change my life, but acknowledged that I needed him to change my life. Now I know that the end result for me is healing. And whether that be here on earth or when I get to heaven, like one day I will have a brain that functions the way he intended it to. And every single day I just wake up and I'm like, you know, today could be the day that like your brain chemistry literally changes. And I just have this overwhelming sense of peace and joy even in the midst of depression because it's still there and it's still very real and it's still knocks me off of my feet on more on most days but to know that someone that I have someone who's already defeated it and already has the victory over it is huge is real 
and he's good and he loves you. Dear Hannah, right now you are wide-eyed and expectant. You are ready to be on your own. You are ready to take on the world. You don't know it yet, but within the next four years, you will be pushed to your breaking point over and over again. The relationship that you're in, the one you're so sure will lead to marriage, will crumble right before your eyes, but you will be okay. Your dignity and safety will be stripped away because you will become a victim of sexual assault but I promise you that you will transform from victim to survivor. You will be okay. You will move back home and at first you'll feel like a failure. While at home, you will be in the biggest battle of your life. The depression will chain you to your bed and for two straight years, you will lose the will to live. You will not want to fight anymore, so you'll give up. You'll play dead, but it won't be like that forever. You will be okay. You will lose some of the most precious friends that you have. Friendships that you've put years of love into will vanish without warning. This will break you each time, but you will be okay. Everything you thought you knew about God, Jesus, and the church will crumble. You'll find yourself wading through the ashes, trying to make sense of it all again. You will feel lost, but you will be okay. The darkness will be heavier than you've ever experienced. You'll pray for light, but you won't see it for a while. Rest assured, the darkness will not be forever the light will come again. So here you are, wide-eyed and expectant, ready to take on the world, a world that will break you, but a world that you will come to love. Above all else, remember this, you will be okay. With love, Hannah.